Hello, I'm Chef Marina Mustafa, and shortly I'll be showing you how to make apam gula hangus, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite kuih. Okay, we're gonna start by making the gula hangus, which is the burnt sugar. We're gonna put in a cup of sugar. Let it burn first to get the, the nice aroma. So now, I can see it's bubbling. So you just move it around to burn the other sides of the sugar that hasn't been burned yet. So not too much movement, but just to let it burn all over. The moment the sugar burns and melts and becomes caramelized, then you reduce the temperature before you put in the hot water. See how it's melting? So let it all melt first before you put in the hot water. Now it's beautifully melted. I'm gonna pour the one cup of water, boiling water inside here, and then I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of condensed milk. This will add a little added sweetness but a richness. And then I put two tablespoons of butter. This will make it very nice and rich as well. To melt down the butter and combine the condensed milk. So I'm just gonna let this rest for a short while. So Next step, you just get yourself a big bowl and break two eggs. One, two. Okay, just swirl it around. And then we're gonna put half cup of oil to make it more moist and slightly more dense. Then you mix the carbonate soda into the flour. Just a little mix. When this has cooled down a little bit, you pour it bit by bit, not too much in one go, slowly. Yeah, can you see the color is changing? This is the color of the appam. We're gonna put in the flour, but put in bit by bit because you don't want it to clump up. So put a little bit and keep on stirring. Just to get everything mixed up nicely. Texture is getting nicer and thicker. Mix everything nicely together so it's well combined and smooth. I want to show you how the mixture is supposed to be. See how lovely it's got little little bubbles over the top. Okay, so I'm just going to on the steamer for 20 minutes and then I'm going to put the bowls inside and to make my pouring process faster, pour this into a little jug so you can pour this easily into the little cup. So now, we just pour straight into the little bowl until like about 3 quarter full. Not too high though because you don't want it to overflow into the steamer. Okay, so let's leave this and get it working. Alright. Thank you. 